wig we will be dying today it is synthetic it is a 613 wig and it is 18 inches please excuse the inside of it because i did previously try to dye this wig and it did not work out as planned like as soon as i rinsed the wig out all of the color washed out this does have lace around the front and a minimal um parting for the front but i was only gonna wear it two ways so that was okay so since this is synthetic hair we are going to use synthetic dye to dye this hair and i got these two dyes from my local walmart and i got the first color in chocolate brown because i want my hair to have a more of a brown brassy color and then i got a color called graphite which is like a grayish blue tone kind of a dye and yeah since i want to get that ash blonde I'd used my drawer out of my little makeup compartment to put the water in to dye the hair so what I did was I had my sister help me get some boiling hot water and we just filled it up into like the little black knob part and at first we're gonna just put in the chocolate brown dye now um when i first did it the first time because i did that this twice i didn't measure what i was doing i was just going by eye this is my first time i didn't want to like overdo it so i had poured one cap of some of the dye and then i just took these tongs that i brought from my dollar store and i'm just using that to stir the dye in with the water So I wanted to see the color of the water and I'm just taking a piece of paper towel and I'm going to dip that into the water to see the color it's giving me so far and it wasn't showing enough brown so I decided to put another cap full of brown dye into the water. For the graphite color, I'm only going to be putting in one cup full, I mean one cap full of the dye simply because I wanted more of a brownish color than a silver so I didn't want to put too much of that grayish color in there. starting off with dipping the ends first to see what color it's going to be as I did with the paper towel and then eventually I'm just going to put the whole wig into the water. You want to make sure when you put in this wig in the water that you're making sure every strand is getting wet like you want to submerge the wig under the water. You want to make sure you're really getting all that color that you want into your wig. to also make sure that I was getting that nasty yellow orange color out as well and let the wig sit for about 15 to 20 minutes in the water this next step is optional I'm gonna be using the shimmer lights purple shampoo um, I'm not sure if this was effective with this hair just because it is synthetic but as you can see the hair is already like a silvery brassy brown like kind of a color but I did feel like I could get it darker so right now I'm just going to pre prepare to just wash the hair and I'm going to put some of the shampoo on the hair and rinse out any leftover dye that may be sitting into the hair again like i said i wasn't honestly 100 percent sure if this method i did with the purple shampoo was effective just because this hair is synthetic but as you can see like the inside of the wig is no longer that orange color which i was happy about i mean no one's gonna see the inside of my wig but still it just made me feel better knowing it wasn't that color in the inside and um i'm just rinsing the hair just to make sure any leftover um dye wouldn't be in the hair after washing this is what my wig was looking like um i'm i like the color but i felt like i could make it 
just a tad bit darker but I did want to show you guys before I had decided to dye it a second time but it was looking like the first time and I actually do like it because it's not that Barbie blonde that it was starting off with and like I said the inside of the um the cap and the wig is good it's no longer that yellowish orange color either and yeah I really wanted to get all of this done in one night and I didn't want to you know cut it up any longer until like more days or a day another day so I'm, I decided to boil some water on the stove and I'm going to repeat the same process that I did the first time except I'm not going to be pouring the dye into the cap I'm just going to be eyeing it and just pouring it out of the bottle. Since the water is boiling hot already, I'm not going to leave my wig in this long, like the 15, 10 minutes I did before because I know it's going to change um, color and stay on faster. So this water is hotter than the water I used before. So I'm just going to put my wig in literally for like two minutes or so. This time when I washed the hair, I did not use the purple shampoo just because I didn't want to, um, I was satisfied with the color I had and I didn't want to rinse it out or make it any brassier. So I just washed the wig under cold water and I just kept rinsing it until the water was clear. So this is what our wig is looking like. It's not fully dry right now, but it's dry enough for you can see the color and I'm in love with this color. I actually like it how it looks now that I dyed it a second time because like the roots even kind of have like this little brownish kind of like a dark effect. I don't know how to explain it. Here's our final look and I'm loving the way this wig came out. I'm so happy that I decided to try this method on a synthetic wig before purchasing human hair. I did flat iron the hair after it had dried and it took really well to heat. Even though it's synthetic, I used the temperature 330 on my flat iron and I also used some hair serum and heat protectant as well just so I wouldn't damage the hair. I'm really, really happy for this look and um, stay tuned if you guys wanna see how I later on style this hair and don't forget to like comment subscribe if you're not already and thanks for watching you guys see you later